I had seen these homemade sandblasters on YouTube and I wanted to make one because I wanted to get some Japanning off of an old Stanley plane. So I went to Harbor Freight, bought this air blowgun set for $4.99, went to Home Depot online and bought this walnut shell grit, a 10 pound box for $12.90. It's called AgriGrit, and it's just a fine ground walnut shell. It works surprisingly well, and it is no damage to the metal, and it's also not quite as dangerous to breathe as is silicone sand. So here's the little set you get from Harbor Freight. It comes with three different uh, nozzle lengths. I use the longest length. Um, it just seemed like the thing to do at the time and uh, I, the one I had seen on YouTube did a similar thing and what I did is I took the uh, nozzle part, the, the long tube and filed a little recess in it. I'll try to get closer here. I used literally a uh, uh, chainsaw file chainsaw blade file to file a little recess in the tube. I just filed away until I had about, oh, I would say a third of the way through so that there was a, a little bit of an opening. And I put the opening on the bottom of the tube and it, it seems to draw the powder just fine. And then here's just a, it's just a plastic bottle. It's nothing special. I drilled a hole to fit the tube tightly and uh, you simply uh, stuff it through there, flip the bottle upside down so that the dust or the, the walnut shell is around the tube. And as the air goes through that tube, it draws it into the airstream. So it sucks it up off the bottom and it works uh, just like I say, surprisingly well. Here's a more of a close up of how I filed that tube. And then I wanted to make sure that the hole was tight. So that tube measures 3 16 of an inch in diameter. And I happen to have also a 3 16 inch drill bit. So when I drilled the hole in the plastic bottle, uh, you can see it was a super tight fit. It fits very tightly over the tube. And I don't seem to have anything spilling out. I don't seem to have any... Uh, leaking. I don't seem to have any whistling or anything like that. It just seems to work fine. There's sort of a close-up of that hole I drilled. Simply fill the bottle uh, literally by hand. This is a, a box of that agri-grit. I just, uh, very high tech here, I just used handfuls of the stuff and pour it into the bottle to get it filled up. Again, 10 pounds of this is $12. You can buy 25 pound boxes as well. This was mailed, free shipping from Home Depot, so real easy to get. Just fill up the bottle, screw the lid on it, and uh, I've been packing away the stuff in a plastic bag just to keep it dry. And uh, I was going to do this outdoors. I ended up doing it into a garbage can, and it's not the best video in the world. In fact, you can barely see it, but I'm just trying to show you that it takes off even Japanning. I had some frogs from two or three different Stanley planes that had pretty heavy black Japanning on them. And uh, you're going to see here in a second on the video how it cleans that metal right down to the cast iron uh, amazingly quick. And Japanning, you know how tough it is. Uh, Here's a piece that had quite a bit of Japanning on it. And again, I, what a lousy camera angle, sorry about that. But I blast away at that. And you'll see as I hold it back up to the camera, look at that, clean to the, clean to the cast iron. And that was a shiny coating of black Japanning. Maybe I can get a close up here of uh, it working. It was such a rainy day the day I did this, I just didn't want to do it outside. And so here I am uh, kind of fighting the dust that's shooting back up out of my garbage can. Sorry about that. 
The point is, it shoots the paint off the surface very well. It gets into the cracks and crevices because the powder is so fine. Look at that. Even in those recesses, it took the paint down right to the cast iron. Even on this complicated area around the yoke, you can shoot in there and again, it just cleans it right down to the cast iron. A super easy thing to make, super inexpensive, and shockingly, it works quite well. Here's another one. Look at how thick the paint was on that. Just shiny black paint. I may get a close-up here of it shooting off. But again, lousy video. Sorry for the lousy video, but here you can see the black paint coming off. See how fast it comes off? And again, uh, clean to the metal. So there you have it, a sandblaster for five bucks, built in just a few minutes, Harbor Freight and Home Depot. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.